Make sure your ears are visible. Bring the phone up to your face until the green outline is complete. Still. And slowly turn your head to the left. Ain't no way they're telling me scanning my ear is gonna make the sound better in this game. What? YouTube! <laughs> What's up, guys? Today, we're going to talk about a huge issue that's been ongoing in this game forever, and it's the audio. The footsteps, uh, they're basically non-existent in most scenarios that I've been in. And now it seems like they teamed up with another company to basically have an almost pay-to-win aspect, which uh, that doesn't sound good to me. You'll also see you later in the video. It's kind of weird how they're doing it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with a friend. I really appreciate it, guys. We got updates, loadout videos, gameplay videos. Check them all out. And then we also stream to YouTube and Twitch uh, Mondays and Thursdays. And then I try to get any other extra streams in as I can. As many as I can. I got to get my editing done first. Let's get into it. All right, we're on CallOfDuty.com here. We're going down. This is one of the things they said they put. So it's all new audio, right? This is for Warzone as well. And if we go back here, you, you can hear this person very, very good. It's like it's real life. I mean, that's about as real as it gets, that person running down the hallway and everything. That's that's pretty good. That's that's some basic audio that I think we've been wanting for a long time. And if it's consistent, that's great. And you go down, they're talking about the physics of the sound and all of that stuff. And they kind of show like a, a map of like how the audio bounces off of objects and stuff, like as if it would in real life, how it's simulated. Uh, they give a couple examples of that. Just rewind it here and they'll show it like coming outward. And how it bounces off of the walls and how much does just just as if it's like simulating real life basically now that was the best update we had until they also added this part right here which is essentially pay to win okay now enhanced headphone mode greater immersion through hrtf scroll down here the advancements in sound go even further as the game uses head related transfer function technology to better simulate how sound is transferred from the game world to the player's ears now, they go on and explain that it emulates the way sounds are affected by the shape of your head, uh, your ears, before you actually hear them. It's, and it says it's the gold standard for maximizing directional perception when you are listening on headphones. So, they're trying to make it so sound all intense and stuff like that. Um, the enhanced headphone mode makes them body immerse. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Let's see here. So, this, this is where it gets weird right here. This is saying that they have the HRTF profile, which uh, it's an option that you'll be able to see on Black Ops 6. If you want to do it or not do it, you can pick that in the option, which I'm assuming everyone's going to see if it's good. Um, I'm really hoping it's not one of those things that we're saying, ah, it's cap, you know, it's not good at all, just turn it off, it's pointless. Uh, or hopefully it won't do something that's like, hopefully it's, if anything, bad. It's just that it doesn't make a difference. Hopefully it doesn't make it worse. But, uh... That's that's basically what that's going to be. The, here's the problem right here, though, is they're saying that they basically teamed up with another company to make it even better. And it, it just kind of blows my mind that they're not even putting just making the audio all in one game together. Like they're trying to trying to team up with another company. And this is where it gets to pay to win here. We'll go over to their YouTube page right here. We'll watch the video on it. Now, this is supposed to basically scan your ears and make it so that I don't, I don't, I don't know. We, we have non-existing footsteps right now. We just need footsteps. It doesn't really matter, you know. Directional at this point doesn't matter as long as I can, as long as I can hear them a little bit. Let's watch the video. Let's set up enhanced headphone mode in Call of Duty, powered by Immerse Spatial Audio. Navigate to the game settings audio category and enable enhanced. So there's the option mode. I was just talking about. You'll have now it you on can or off. Now you the game with a universal profile, which will increase the directional accuracy of the 3D sounds on the battlefield. To maximize your precision sound, click on enhanced headphone mode configuration to create your personalized profile. First, scan the QR code with your phone. Click yes to grant camera permissions. Make sure your ears are visible. See, this is just Bring weird. Bring the phone up to your face until the green... That, this alone right here already makes it seem like they're doing more than there really is. I don't think this does anything. That's me personally. This one person on this one forum said, spend $20 so we can get your billing info. Scan the code so we can also get your number phone model. <laughs> Scan your face so we can link all this and sell it to third-party advertisers. It's all about data, man. It's all about data and selling that. Hold your phone still. Like, this is stupid. And slowly turn your head to the left. 
then turn your head to the right. W head model. Following the voice prompts. AI now analyzes your unique head and ear shape to create your highly accurate personalized acoustic model. Return to the game and select personalized profile. Now here's the thing. You could do a free trial for it, but it's $20. It's $20. So, I mean, if you really want, that is an option. I, I, I don't know at this point. In my personal opinion, I think this is something that should already be in the game. But, uh, I don't know. It's not a good look right before the game comes out, too. Plus, they upped the game $10. I'm pretty sure it's 70 and not a lot are around seventy dollars. I think most games are still sixty bucks. So this is just this is just kind of weird, you know. It's especially if you get the max hundred dollar pack. Now you're looking at one twenty if you want if you want everything to work in the game so far. Everything. Pretty soon we'll probably just have to pay for an anti cheat too. 